Welcome to the inaugural Audio Luminary Speaker Series, which has been made possible thanks to the support of our outstanding alumnus, David Crystal, who's the founder and CEO of uh, Audio. For our inaugural event, I couldn't be truly more excited than I am to welcome Antonio Gracias, who's the founder and partner for Valor Equity Partners. The range and impact of companies he has invested and often remains active in, including Tesla, SpaceX, Uber, SolarCity, and a broad range of tech-enabled growth businesses is rapidly changing the way we literally live our lives. So, so tell us a little bit about some of the portfolio companies. I mean, you, you look at your website and the range from you know Tesla and SpaceX to Little Caesars Pizza or Dunkin' Donut restaurants. You know, what what's the connection? Yeah, so we're we're looking for high growth, highly disruptive companies, right? And when you think about these businesses, each one of them is actually disrupting market share. When you think about when we think about disruption, again, we think about it based on product and cost. In both these cases, we have a product that's better, higher service to the end client, and much better on a cost basis. What kinds of characteristics do you look for in your management teams? So there, there, are, there are three things that I think are really important in people, and in particular in, in, in CEOs and management teams. Um, the, first thing, the first word we use is resilience. The second thing you need, we believe, you, is execution. So you, you've gotta be somebody who gets things done. I mean, if you don't get things done, nothing happens. Um, and the third thing is, we're looking for people to put together a social system that attracts talent. I think when I see these three things line up, um, I think someone is truly, truly uh, going to be a great CEO. What advice would you have for students here today in terms of getting started on their own path from that perspective? The thing I tell young people all the time is like, because we have this narrative of society that we're supposed to find this like, magical moment of purpose in the world, we like, wait around for it. You know, don't wait around for it. Like, just go do something. Go do something you think is cool that you're interested in. It may not be the greatest thing in the world. It may not be your final state. It probably is not your final state. Get involved. Do something. Learn to be passionate about it. You don't have to be passionate about everything the moment you start. You can, that is a learned behavior, right? Caring about something is, is, a, is a decision you make. I'm going to care about this company. I'm going to care about the people around me. You make the decision, and as that passion grows for you, you'll get more ideas. And maybe you get to a place you like better over time, but like where you are. Care about it. You'll attract better people, you'll do better in the company, and develop those passions because you can do that. You can, it's, it's really a choice you make in your own head. We are here to serve. Like, this is not about us, right? And if it becomes about us and about our egos and our satisfaction, we're out trying to generate PR for ourselves, et cetera, we fail. This is about us serving the companies we invest in, period. We're here to serve our clients, we're here to serve our companies, if, and we're here to serve each other. If we do those three things really well, we will be successful. We will go through the world and maybe no one will ever remember us, they won't even know who we are, which would be great. No problem at all with that, that'd be awesome. Uh, but we'll add a ton of value, we'll have a lot of fun, and we'll be rewarded. And that's the point of this, and I believe that's actually true.